And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another live broadcast here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Mike Prince here with you as we are live from Waller High School, where the Bulldogs will be hosting the Wildcats of Thumball Memorial last time. Thumball was victorious over Waller in the first meeting of the season as we get ready to go now. Starting lineups for the Thumball Memorial Wildcats, number 34, Andrew Butch, number 10, Hayden Stevens. Number 20, Malik Horn. Number three, Mikey Foyer. And number 33, Tyler Moore. For the Bulldogs, number three, Corbin Vine. Number five, Philip Prince. Number 21, Jonathan Dorset Morris. Number 22, Charlie Hill. And number 25, Zach Kelsey. Bulldogs dressed in their whites. They'll be going from left to right. And Tumba Memorial in the maroon, I mean, uh, navy blue. Prince gets the tip off the control for the Bulldogs, gets it over to Vines. Vines in the corner, gets it over the door set, back up top to Prince at the top of the key. Prince swings it over to Vines on the wing. Back up top to Hill on the right wing. Dribbles crossover, spins in the paint, bounces over to Kelsey, and the shot hits the front of the rim. Rebound is picked up by Tumball Memorial. Controlling that one was number 20, Horn. Gets it off into the hands of Stevens. 7-23 in the first period. No score as of yet. Give and go. Good move. That ball is tossed up. The rebound is picked up by Morris. Kicks it over to Prince. Prince brings it up across the timeline. Takes it. Dribbles. Swings it over to Hill. Hill over to Vine on the left wing. Down the door set, and there is a foul call against Tumball Memorial. Non-shooting. As it looks like they said that was going to go against 34. 34 being Andrew Bush. Back to action. Morris gets the inbound, gets it to Kelsey. Back up top to Prince. Prince swings it over to Vines. Vines back up to Charlie Hill. And Charlie now takes it, drills at the top of the key, bounce pass over to Vines. Vines shoots the three. And it's good. Good ball movement by the Bulldogs. Bulldogs up 3-0. Prince now applying pressure on Fordner. Brings it back up top. Going back and forth now or Memorial. Popping. Looking, thought about shooting. He kicks the ball over. Back up top to number 33, Moore. Moore's at the turnover. Here comes Corbin Vine. Vines bounce past the Prince. Prince swings it back back to Vines. Vines shoots the three. That one's off. Oh, in and out the rim. Rebound picked up by Tumball Memorial's Hayden Stevens. Brings it across the timeline. 6 5 now remaining in the first period. Bulldogs up 3 nothing. Takes, penetrates. Losing the handle just for a moment was Horn. Pulls back and gives it off to Forner. Forner. Swings it. The bounce pass over in the far corner. The three is thrown up, and it is good. 33, Mr. Tyler Moore, and we're all tied at three. Prince now being guarded as he gets it across the timeline. Crossing over, gets it over to Charlie Hill. Hill on the left wing. Swings it to Corbin Vine. Vine at the top of the key. Steps, jabs to his left. Kicks it over to Hill. Hill penetrates. Reverse layup. Misses. Kelsey couldn't come up with it, but Hill... Gets the rebound, and he'll set it back up. Swings it up to Prince at the top of the key. Prince back over to heel. Heel to Vine. Over to Prince. Back across to Charlie Hill at the top of the heel. Hill shoots the three. No good. No rebound attempt at all by the Bulldogs. Picked up by Tumball Memorial. Transition shot, and the ball in and out. Shot was missed by Bush. Rebound by the Bulldogs. Prince pushing it. Kicks it over to Hill. Hill to Vine. Stops, kicks it back out to Hill, and they'll slow it up with 4.45 remaining. The play motion is called. As Hill looks, swings it over to Morris. Morris down to Vines. Vines back out top to Morris, swings it over to Kelsey. Kelsey to Hill. Four minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Hill swings it back over to Vines. Vines. Gets it out to Prince. Prince being guarded. Now he dribbles, goes, kicks it out to Vines. 
Vines with the jumper is no good. The rebound is captured by Tumball Memorial. Still tied at three apiece with four minutes and seven seconds remaining in the first period. The jumper, no good. The rebound went up and grabbed by Moore. Now wrestling and tussling. And they're going to call jump ball or they call a foul. Trying to see exactly what to call it. Timeout is taken on the floor. 30-second timeout. We'll take a timeout. All tied at three, Bulldogs and the Wildcats. Keep it where you got it. We'll be right back. We'll take 15 seconds. It's a new year, and that means tax season is here. And Dungeons and Bookkeeping can provide you with personal income tax preparation. For more information, have your appointment. Call Dungeons Bookkeeping at 936 372 2661. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Prince here with you. Timeout taken by Tumbaugh Memorial to avoid the tie up or the turn up. 357 remaining in the first period of play. All tied at three. Get the inbound. Now on the floor is Wagner for Prince. Swinging. Coming across is 21. Gladys. Gladys gets the ball. Down over to Moore. Moore is stripped, and there's a turnover. And here comes Vine and Wagner. Wagner penetrates, and he's going to be fouled. Second turnover. Wagner should go to the line and shoot two. So that foul will be called against Johnny Gladys. That is the first foul on Gladys. Wagner will go to shoot the first of two free throws here. First shot is up, and good. Rolls around for a little bit, gets the shooter's touch. So now entering for Tumball Memorial will be number 30, Ben Bax. Forgive me if I kind of hesitate. Their numbers are not in numerical order. That ball is too strong from Wagner. 4-3 is the score as the rebound picked up by Tumball Memorial. Swinging it across. Looking now, setting up at the high post is Moore. Moore swings it back over to Gladys. Gladys at the top of the key. Swings it back over. Moore gets it, and Moore will get the end one as he's fouled. The basket will fall. The foul will be called against Charlie Hill as Moore will go to shoot for the additional point to give him a total of six points. Right now it's five to four. Four responsible for all five points at this moment. Moore taking a few dry shots. He now gets it. The free throw is nothing but bottom of the net. And he makes it six four. Tumball Memorial on top of Waller. Vines being guarded by Gladys. And a turnover as Wright, who is now in, could not handle the pass. Bulldogs back on the defense. First turnover of the night. Coming across is Gladys with 3.02 remaining. He swings the pass over. Gets it back. There's a knock away by Wagner and recovering for Tumball Memorial is Hayden Stevens. Stevens driven with the left hand, crosses between his legs. Dribbling on the left wing, being guarded tough by Wagner. Tosses it over, going baseline. Ray Simon was there to make the stop, but given a second chance opportunity for Malik Horn to get his first field goal to make it 8-4. Coming across now is Wagner. Wagner gets it to Heel. Heel swings it over to Vine. Vine gets it back. To right. Morgan Vines now gets it to heel at the top of the key. Two minutes and 13 seconds remaining in the first period of play. Pulling back now is heel. Heel gets it to Vines on the left wing. Vines crosses it over to jump steps, shoots it, and gets the jumper. Five points for Vines as it makes it 8 6 now while a trail in Tumball Memorial. As a turnover, a good steal with Ray Simon with the steal. Here come the Bulldogs. Charlie Hill bounce fast, 
could not get it over to Wagner, and it's going to be a turnover. As coming in will be Xavier Louie, number 11, and Malik Banks, number 10. Vines and Hill will go out with 144 remaining here in period number one. Coming through, looking. Pull back now as Mattis. Take it, dribbles to his left, cross, and there's a jump and a steal almost by right, back in control of Tumball Memorial. Gladys goes and shoots, rebound picked up by Eric Wright. Now to get it over to Louis, the bounce pass over. It was trying, it was bounce pass to Banks. Banks got it over to Wagner, and as a result, the ball was knocked out of bounds. Returning now or entering will be Matthew Toller, number five, for Tumball Memorial. One minute. And 18 seconds here in the first period. Waller trailing by two. The inbound to Simon. Simon kicks it back up to Wagner. Coming through. Oh, lost it for a second. As Banks will get ready to try to set it. Gets it over to Louie. Louie crossing over. Dribbles back. Now he shoots the jumper. And that one misses everything. And a rebound is picked up. By Tumball Memorial. On the floor for Tumball Memorial, number one, Logan Brew. Logan Brew was just called with the foul. With 50 seconds remaining here in the first period. So now the inbound for Banks to Louie. Comes across the timeline with 49 seconds. Going as Wagner gets it to Banks. Banks pushing it. Going the travel called against Xavier Louie. Turnover number three for Waller. 41.81 seconds remaining in the first period. Coming across now will be Stevens. Stevens looking. To get it over to Rosenauer. Back to Gladys. Gladys driven to the left at the left elbow. Kicks it over. Back down to the post to Tola. Back to Gladys. Gladys penetrates. That was blocked. And it's a turnover and save. Gladys gets it. Kicks it back out. The left hand jumper is a three that is good from deep downtown for Trent Rouser. So it will be the three-pointer with 10.44 seconds. So Taller is called for the foul. As we have it now with 10 seconds remaining, Louie pushing it across after they get the inbounds from Malik Banks. Four seconds now remaining. Banks shoots the three, and it's no good. As we are going to end the first period, 11 to 6. Wright was called with the foul at the end of the period. So when we come back, it'll be a foul against Wright. We are going to take a 30 second break and we'll be back for the second period. Waller trailing 11 to 6, live from Waller, Texas. The Jazz Bar, located in Brewerview, Texas, is a great opportunity for you to have your next community event, whether it be nonprofit, funeral reception, community, charity, government, church, or individuals. The Jazz Bar has the accommodations to meet your need. The Jazz Bar is open Thursdays through Sundays, and you can schedule your private parties Mondays through Wednesdays. The Jazz Bar, located in Brewerview, Texas, dial 936-857-9566. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Prince here with the line from Waller High School. The Bulldogs currently trailing 11 to 6. I'm going to blame it all on Miss Bankston so far. Miss Bankston is the official scorekeeper, and she just will not pencil whoop anyone. <laughs> As we get ready to start in five back on the floor for Waller, Prince finds, and now you have uh, the three point expert and the Shot is good. Rotation. The three-pointer was good by Fowler. 
7.35 now remaining, 14 to 6. Vines gets the pass. Looks, tried to bounce it back, gets it to Prince. And there was a whistle to stop play. They're going to call it foul against Tumball Memorial's Matthew Toller. Toller will get his second foul on the night. So the inbound. Vine gets it in to Mr. McGrew. The shot, another turnover. And here comes Tumball Memorial. Going is more. Oh, good stop. Oh, no, they didn't call a foul. There's no way you call that foul. Wow. Charlie Hill's going to be called with the foul, and they're going to say it's a shooting foul. So that's going to send Tyler Moore to the line to shoot two. He's one for one from the line so far. 7-17 remaining here before the half. Shot is no good. Moore misses that one, and it's old saying that the ball don't lie. So Moore will get ready to shoot his second shot. Goes up, and it is good. We'll make it 15 to 6. Prince gets it over the hill, and Hill misses the shot. And coming up with the rebound will be. Tomball Memorial, we're going to be forced out of bounds. And they're going to call the blocking on Charlie Hill, 22. And that is three on Hill already. So now Morris will get ready to enter here at the seven-minute break. And when they next stop it, as he's coming over, getting it across the timeline is for you. The jumper by Moore is no good. Prince goes up and knocks it off of the defender for Tumball Memorial Toller. And Prince will get the credit for making the save. As we get ready to inbound now, Prince and Vine in the backcourt, 645 remaining. Prince gets it across the timeline. Stocks looks it, gets it over to Vine. Now going through, setting the pick. Wagner takes it. Being harassed. Looking, gets it over to and lost by McGrew. And another loss, and it's picked up by Waller. Here comes the baseline attempt and kicked back out was Wagner. Gets it to Morris now. And the Bulldogs got to calm down now. It's McGrew. Dribbles. Gets it over. Back to Prince at the top. Prince crossing over. Brings it over to Morris. Morris shoots a three, and it's good. Wow. The big guy putting it down from downtown makes it 15 to 9. 556 now remaining. Prince gets the pick, goes right through that as he's guarding. Going is Moore. Moore goes up. Prince knocks it away, knocks it out of bounds, and it will be possession for the Memorial Wildcats as now a host of substitution coming in. Number 32, Derek Christie is now in. Hayden Stevens has re-entered for Tom Ball along with number 32, Derek Christie. So Hayden takes it, being guarded by Prince. McGrew is guarding right now for you. Moore gets it, goes, penetrates, throws it up off the glass, and here comes McGrew with the rebound. It's three on four. McGrew is going to be fouled. Going to be a foul against Tombaugh Memorial, Mickey Foyer, and that's the first one on him. 5-23, remaining before the half. Bulldogs trailing 15-9. Inbound to Wagner. Wagner gets it on the wing, up top to Prince. Prince setting it up with the 1-5, kicks it over to Wagner. Wagner back at the top, takes it, penetrates back out. The shot is good from downtown. Andy McCrew from downtown to make it a three-point deficit for the Bulldogs. 15 to 12 is the score. Moore gets it to Hayden and gets the layup in. That was good ball movement as Hayden Stevens 
Gets it in, makes it 17 to 12. Prince bringing it across the timeline. They're setting it up. The zone defense by Tumbaugh Memorial. McGrew, uh-oh, was pushed. But they're going to say it was a turnover. 4.38 remaining before the half. Bulldogs trailing by five, 17 to 12. Prince now guarding Hayden Stevens. Stevens dribbles back. The voice of pick goes through and takes Prince to the hole. For the basket. Prince gets it across. Set it up. Gets it over to McGrew. McGrew back over. Back to Prince. In the far corner, the far pass to Vines. Vines over to Wagner. Wagner from in the corner. Hits the back of the rim. Rebound picked up by Tumball Memorial. Tumball Memorial pushing it through. Trying to go. Get set up. Driving through is Stevens, and he gets the easy basket. That's six points for Stevens, 21-12 with 3.45. Tumball Memorial on top. Prince swings it over to Wagner on the left wing. Back up top to McGrew. McGrew over to Prince. Prince shoots the three. It's no good. The rebound is not whoa, out of bounds off the Bulldogs as Louie and Banks will come back in. Prince and McGrew. Will come out. 332 now remaining. The live pass back door going through, and that's a nice defensive move by Bynes, and it's finally out of bounds. Losing control was Derek Christie. Fifth turnover for Tumball Memorial. 21 12 is the score. 325 remaining. Banks gets it across the timeline just about, and now he does. Swings it over to Wagner. Wagner at the top to Louie. Louie takes, penetrates, bounces, and get down in the paint to Vines. Vines has it knocked out his hands. And over in the corner, Banks making that save. Now it's over to Wagner. They'll pull it back out, slow it down with three minutes remaining before the half. Bulldogs trailing by nine, 21-12. Wagner gets it back up top to Vines. Vines on the left wing, swings it over, and there's a turnover. Coming up with it now is Moore for Tumball Memorial. Gets up and lays it off the glass. 2.44 remaining. 30-second timeout taken by Coach Claiborne. We'll take 30. We'll be right back. Bulldogs trail in 23-12. to 12. The Jazz Bar, located in Burley, Texas, is a great opportunity for you to have your next community event, whether it be nonprofit, funeral reception, community, charity, government, church, or individuals, the Jazz Bar has the accommodations to meet your needs. The Jazz Bar is open Thursdays through Sundays, and you can schedule your private parties Mondays through Wednesdays. The Jazz Bar, located in Prairie, Texas, now 936-857-9566. And welcome back. Two minutes and 44 seconds remaining before the half. Bulldogs trailing by 11, 22 to 12. The inbound to Banks, Bynes and Banks in the backcourt for the Bulldogs. Gets it over to Vines. Vines to Wagner. Wagner to Banks. Banks over to Louie. Bounces over to Vines to the corner for three. No good. The rebound picked up by Tumball Memorial, and Stevens gets the easy bucket to make his eighth bucket of the night or eighth point of the night to give a 25-12 lead for Tumball Memorial. Banks gets it across the timeline, swings it over into the corner, back up top, swings it to Vines. Vines on the left wing. Gets it over to Wagner. Wagner dribbles, gets a baseline move, and a good strong move it was by Louie to get the basket for the Bulldogs. 25-14 with 145 remaining before the half. Stevens being guarded, gets it over to Moore. Moore shoots for three, and it's good. It's been the Moore-Stevens show for Tumball Memorial. 28-14 have doubled the Bulldogs, have the Wildcats. 126 remaining before the half. Banks bounces it over to Wagner. 
Wagner back out to Banks. Banks swings it over to Vine. Back to Banks. Banks penetrates, kicks it out, and that throws that one away. Turnover number eight. Gladys will come in as well as Brew for Tumball Memorial. So the inbound. Gets it across Stevens, the timeline. Being guarded, setting up, drives, hit the paint. That shot's no good, but the rebound saved by Tumball Memorial. Kicks it back up to his teammate and losing the handle was Richardson. Tony Richardson, number 23, lost that. That is turnover number six for Tumball Memorial. 57 ticks on the clock. As we'll be getting ready for our halftime break here as Banks gets it across the timeline. Board Australia 28-14. Banks swings it over to Vine. Vine takes it, penetrates, goes, gives it to Morris. It was knocked away. Vines gets it, shoots it in and out, and the rebound followed up by Wagner. Wagner with his third point, 28-16 to with 30 seconds remaining. Going over Bulldogs playing some defense right now. All right. Okay. There's a foul. So what happened? So there was originally called against Bates, Bats, and then they said it was on Bates. So now they're discussing it now. He originally said it was on bats. And now they're discussing it. So now a technical foul is being called on banks. So they're saying Banks shoved. So there was a foul on 30 to begin with. Hey. White 10. So there's a technical foul being. So, talking about Memorial has a number 10 on the floor, but he's not in the books, right? Okay. So, the free throw attempt was missed. There's all kind of confusion. Steve is the 10. He missed the first free throw. So the second shot is no good by Steven. So it's 22.92 seconds remaining. So he's shooting the next shot, and he finally makes that one. And... So it is all kind of chaos. There's a 30-second timeout. Maybe we could try to get something figured out here. Okay, so a 30-second timeout taken by Tumball Memorial. We'll try to sort all this out. We'll be right back. We got chaos all over the place here at Waller High. Our bodies can do amazing things. And it's amazing how little we ask in return for a lifetime of service, like three square meals a day especially breakfast, moderate exercise several times a week, seven to eight hours of sleep a day, and moderation in drinking. Hello, I'm Robert Urich. Statistics show that people who follow all these rules live much longer, so give them a try. You'll be amazed at how healthy you feel. A message from the Will Rogers Institute, Los Angeles, California. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We did get it sorted out. There was a call on being back. That was his first foul. Then there was a technical, a double technical foul called against Waller because Banks was not in the scorebook. 
and the technical foul that was one bank. So that's how we ended up with the three free throw attempts. So back to Akron, that should be a travel as Gladys slides and falls down. It's going to be Bulldogs' ball with 15 seconds remaining. Bulldogs trailing 30 to 16. Banks gets the inbound. And gets it over to Wagner. Six seconds. Louis shoots a three, and it's good. Louis shoots a line drive three pointer to get his fifth point of the night. And at the half, it is 30 to 19. Waller trailing. We'll take a break, and we'll be back for the second half. You're listening to Bulldog Basketball right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are just about done with halftime, 25 ticks away, or until Miss Bankston says get it started. Either way, we're going to have it. Bulldogs trailing 30-19. to 19. Leading scores for the Bulldogs at five points was Xavier Louie. Three points for Andy McGrew, Jonathan Dorsett Morris, and Mr. Will Wagner. Yeah. Leading scores for the Wildcats is really two major threats. Tyler Moore, number 33, he has 12. And nine points for Hayden Stevens. With, and we have two from Malik Horn, three from Mickey Fortner, and three by Trent Rosner. We get ready to start back. Bulldogs now going from right to left. Fine swings it over to McGrew. McGrew back over to Wagner. Wagner pulls back out over to Vine. Over in the corner is McGrew. Bounces back to Vine. Vine goes, hop steps, and the save is by Morris. And Wagner lost control and turnover number nine for the Bulldogs. So the inbound will be coming from Turnbull Memorial's number 20, Malik Horn. Horn gets it across. To Foreigner. Foreigner. And the basket was good by Foreigner, number three, to give the points for Magnolia. Makes it 32 19. Bulldogs now traveling. Morris gets it, kicks it back out to Vines. Vines slowing it down, bounces over to Wagner. Wagner to McGrew. McGrew from deep down on the top of the key, no good. Rebound picked up by Hayden Stevens. And so the ball was knocked out of bounds by Stevens. Good defense to Wagner to call that turnover. That is turnover number eight for Tumball Memorial. Wagner gets it to McGrew. McGrew bounces over to Vines. Vines brings it back up top to Wagner, over to Vines, and Vines jumper from downtown is good for three. Eight points for Vine. Ten-point deficit for Waller. 32-22. Tumball Memorial dressed in their navy blues with gray number. As Gladys' shot was no good. Rebound picked up by Wagner. Wagner gets it to Kelsey. Kelsey gets it to McGrew. McGrew shot no good. Moore with the rebound for Tumball Memorial. Takes it, slices through the defense. Dishes it off, and the basket is good. Good transitional move that time by Tumball Memorial as Andrew Bush gets his first field goal of the night. McGrew comes back and shoots for three, and it's good. McGrew quickly on the scene now. Six points for McGrew, both of them three-pointers. 34-25 now is the score. Stevens being guarded by Wagner, goes to the top of the key, pulls it back out, pitches it over to Moore. Moore swings it to... And that's going to be no good as Malik Horn was fouled. Did he say 21? Oh, I'm sorry, Morris Doris. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Doris said Morris with the foul. Horn with the inbound and rattles in the shot for his fourth point. Another quick foul. On Morris, two fouls, 
Magnolia, I'm sorry, Tumbaugh Memorial. So the inbound to Tumbaugh Memorial, slowing it up, his foreigner, gets it to Brown. Well, that was a good block by Morris, rejected Moore. Wagner gets the transitional basket. Five points for Wagner, 36-27. The pace is picking up now. Baseline, Foyner gets it over to Moore, and he sinks the three. 15 points for Tyler Moore, 39-27. Magoo gets it to Vine. Vine in the corner for three, and he's answering. Corbin Vine with his third three-pointer, 39-30. 4.49 remaining in the third period. Coming through to Moore. Moore gets it back out to Horn. Horn swings it to Stevens. Stevens is going to be charged with the foul. As that's the first foul against Stevens. 4.36, stop as a play. Simon. And Wright will come in. Kelsey. So the inbound to Wagner. Wagner breaks it through. McGrew from deep. No good. The rebound picked up by Moore. Moore coming out for Tumball Memorial. Takes it. This is it over to the corner. The jumper. No good. Rebound picked up by Tumball, I'm sorry, by Waller. Vine gets it across. Bulldogs filling by nine to stop the jumper. Good for two by Wagner. Wagner nails it. Timeout on the floor by Tumball Memorial. 409. Bulldogs filling 39 to 32. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to exciting Bulldog basketball right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. As you spend your money on holiday gifts, don't forget to set aside some cash for retirement as a gift to yourself. Saving a little of your monthly income for retirement can be as affordable as the average holiday gift. If retirement is near, you'll want to hop on a fast sled and start saving right away. If you're younger, Begin saving now, and compound interest will help your retirement fund snowball. A great way to start figuring out how much you'll need to save for retirement is to learn how much you could expect from Social Security. You can do that in minutes with Social Security's online retirement estimator at www.socialsecurity.gov slash estimator. Happy holidays from Social Security. And welcome back. The inbound by Tumball Memorial. Four minutes remaining. Blocking foul call against Wagner. First foul against Wagner. Non-shooting. 359. Tyler Moore will get ready to inbound for Tumball Memorial. Gets it to Horn. Kicks it back around the Horn. Gladys now gets it back to Stevens. And Gladys will take it and pull back. Then it takes to the left wing. Thought about shooting the long three was taller. Gets it back out to Stevens. Stevens handling the ball with 340 remaining. Stops, goes over in the corner. That shot no good by Toller. Wagner coming up with the big rebound for Waller. Wagner going coast to coast. Dumps it to Simon. Misses the shot. Simon gets his rebound. Misses the second shot. Tyler Moore ends up with the rebound as he dribbles across the timeline. Getting it across, 39-32. Waller trailing by seven. Gladys swings it to Horn. Horn back to Moore to get it and almost save it. And they're going to call it carry, a rare carry call against Hayden Stevens. Turnover number nine for Tumball Memorial. 3-0-8 remaining in the third period. Waller trailing 39 to 32. Vine gets it across the timeline going from right to left or the Bulldogs. McGrew stops, kicks it back out to Wagner. Wagner swings it over to Vine. Vine 
penetrates, lays it up, and it's going to be foul, depending on who they called it on. I thought it would have been on Horn, number 20. And that's who it's on. Malik Horn picks up his first foul. Vine will go to shoot two. Vine first free throw attempts tonight. It's the front of the rim, no good. So entering for Tumball Memorial will be number 15, Trent Rousner. Rosener, I should say. Vine second shot is up, and it's good. So Vine 50%. 39-33. Waller trailing. Tumball Memorial. Hitting it across to Horn. As Horn is on the right wing. Swings it over to Tyler Moore. Moore back to Gladys. Gladys gets it down to Horn. And they're going to call the foul. The reach in. They call it against Ray Simon. Simon's first foul. As Malik Horn will go to the line for two. This is his first attempt tonight. First shot is good. Makes it 40 to 33 now with 237 remaining. Second shot is good. So Malik Horn thinking both of his free throws. Makes it 41-33. Fine gets it across the timeline. The bounce pass to right. And that's a foul quickly called against Tumball Memorial. As that will be against Ben Bat. Looks like they're going to try to work the more strong and aggressive Eric Wright down in the post. As the inbound to Wagner. Wagner looking right with the pass. White goes up and falls forward. And a jump ball is called. Possession arrow will be in favor for Tumball Memorial. <laughs> Tumball Memorial not like an egg call at all, but it did work in his favor. Two minutes and 19 seconds remaining. 41-33. Bulldogs trailing the Wildcats. Swing it over in the far corner. Getting it now coming up is Toler. Toler gets it to Gladys. Gladys back to Toler. Back to Gladys. Gladys swings it over to Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore. And there's a quick whistle. So that one is against Johnny Gladys. Foul number two against Gladys. 158 remaining. 41-33, 41-33 is the score. Four dogs trailing. As Eric Wright working down in the paint, as that is going to be another foul called against Tumball Memorial's being back, and he quickly has three. So coming in will be Foyer, and he will be relieving Gladys, ready to get the inbound back in to Wagner. Wagner looking, Simon trying to work in the paint as Eric Wright is banging again with Batch. And Batch has quickly got four fouls. And all of them have been caught while trying to guard Eric Wright. Still a non shooting foul. So Bats will come out now as the inbound back to right. Right kicks it over to Simon. Simon pops, gets it to Wagner. Wagner swings it over to the corner of the vine. Vine goes baseline, misses the shot. Rebound by Tyler Moore. 130 remaining. 41-33 is the score. Tumball Memorial gets it across the timeline. Tyler Moore comes over. It's now for you. Dribbles over. 118 remaining. The jumper is good for three. As that was Trent Rousner with his second three. 44 33. Seven point lead for 
Tom Ball Memorial, and another whistle is blowing. That foul will get against Rausner as Prince will come in for Wagner. 101 remaining in the third period. As that the shot is no good. So McGrew missing both of his free throws. So Banks will now come in for McGrew. One minute exactly remaining as the inbound by Vine gets it to Simon. Back over to Vine. Vine's in the corner for three. No good. Now transitional basketball now. Here comes Tumball Memorial. Get to the cross. Toller shot is up. The rebound. And a foul is called against Eric Wright. Nine shooting foul. Or we'll get ready to inbound now. Swings it over. Toller. Now back over to Foreigner. Foreigner. Swings it back over. And it is taking a time. Now Moore being guarded by Vines. He swings it over. Back to Toller. Toller dribbles between the leg. Pulls out. 28 seconds remaining. Gets it back over. To the foreigner. Foreigner being guarded by Prince. 19 seconds. So now he's coming back with 14 seconds. Now to get to the, to the hands. Back. And falls. Oh, Tyler Moore got tripped as Eric Wright was diving across. No foul call? Oh, okay. I was going to say. That was that was a football move, but that's three on right. As Tyler Moore will go to the line. Shooting two. He's shooting two. The shot by Moore is good. Second shot on the way by Moore is good. 15 points for Moore. Six seconds remaining. Prince gets the inbound. Bakes the two. What the, what the, just threw that away. What, what was that about, Prince? My goodness, it is total quiet here with 20 seconds. We're going to take a break. We'll take a break at the end of 3, 46, 33, Tumball Memorial on top. Hi, everyone. I'm Dave Dixon for On the Road in Texas. A university study proves what you might already know from firsthand experience. People who drive a long way to get to work have higher blood pressure than those with shorter commutes. Cooper Sparky Dean has more on aggressive driving. The more congested our streets and highways get, the more aggressive driving we troopers see on the road. Tailgating, passing on the right, changing lanes without signaling. These things frustrate fellow drivers and are dangerous besides. If you encounter someone who's obviously having a bad traffic day and who's not handling it well, give them plenty of space. Don't make eye contact to rude hand gestures and don't honk your horn. Cooper Dean reminds us that while we can't control what other people do behind the wheel, we can control our own actions. Don't let aggressive driving rub off on you. For the Texas Department of Transportation and the Texas Department of Public Safety, I'm Dave Dixon reminding you to save a life. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We start this fourth period, the final chapter. 46-33, Tumball Memorial on top. They've led the entire game. 11-6 at first period, 30-19 to 19 at the half. And the short shot by Kelsey. And here comes Hayden Stevens on a transition. 
Just hit the front of the rim, did Kelsey. Now slowing it down will be Foreigner. He's been guarded by McGrew. Now gets it back into the hands of Stevens. Stevens dumps it off and is knocked out of bounds. A turnover. That's number 10 for Tombaugh Memorial. 7.30 remaining. Bulldogs trailing by 13. Dine takes it, gets the ball reached away. And they're going to be a turnover against Vine. That's number 10 for Walla. 7.21 remaining in the contest. Bring it across the timeline, Ms. Foyner. Gets it up top to number one, Logan Brew. Going back and forth, dribbling back. Malik Horn goes off the glass, but they're going to call a charge against Horn. That's the second foul on Horn. 7 4 now remaining in this fourth period. Board Australian 46 to 33. And as another turnover, Louis could not handle that. Here comes Tom Ball Memorial. Oh, no, and making the save was Malik Horn. Gets it over to the corner of the foyer. Foyer back to Horn. Horn goes baseline, tosses it up, gets the basket. Horn, eight points on the night. 48-33 is the score. Tom Ball Memorial on top. Kelsey swings it over to McGrew. McGrew for three. Air ball. Picked up by Hayden Stevens. Stevens, long pass, and a layup. Transition basket as Andrew Bush was the recipient of the long assist to make it 50-33. to 33. Charlie Hill getting it across the timeline. He loses the ball, but got it back and lost it again. And here comes Tom Ball Memorial. Swings it back over. And they're going to say the ball was thrown away. And it will be possession for the Bulldogs with 6-0-1 remaining in the game. 50-33 to 33 is the score. So the foul was called against Logan Brew. That's number two. So it will allow Corbin Vine to go for the one-and-one one shot. As we've got substitution coming in, Tory, Tory Richardson will come in for four year. 5.56 remaining. The shot is good by Mr. Corbin Vine. You'll get a chance to shoot the second. Yeah, McGrew, Hill, Vine, Louie, and Kelsey on the line on the floor for the Bulldogs as the second shot is good. 50 to 35 now with 554 remaining. The pass, Richardson gets it, bounce it, lost it, and got the rebound. Got it back to handle. Back door by Malik Horn, and the basket is good. Good ball alertness by Tumball Memorial. 52-35. Charlie Hill is fouled. As it looks like that may have been on Malik Horn, and it is on Horn. Horn picking up his third foul. And it's the bonus shot. Now, double bonus. It's Charlie Hill with no points so far tonight. Shoots and makes the first. Hill, hard to imagine, he only has one point on the night. Second shot. It's good. 52-37. Bulldogs applying a little pressure. for McGrew and Vine on the backcourt pressure. It's broken. Malik Banks. I'm sorry. Horn. Taking the basket. 54-37. Charlie Hills jumper is an air ball. Picked up by Kelsey. Kelsey. Gets the rebound in the basket. 
54-39 now. Waller trailing with 5-0-2 remaining. A long pass to break the press. Malik Horn throws that up. The rebound picked up and kicked out to Moore. As he gets it back down to Horn, and Horn gets the basket yet again. 14 points for Horn. 56-39. Charlie Hill, short jumper, good. Charlie Hill trying to warm up now. 56-41 with 435. Splitting the defense again. Horn swings it over and pulling it back out will be Bush as Tom Bar Memorial will now play a little keep away. Horn is fouled. <laughs> Bynes picking up his first foul. But now the one and one opportunity for Tyler Moore. First shot is good. Second shot on the way for Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore with 16 points on the night. He lost handle of it, but the foul was called, and the second shot is good. 58. 41, Bynes gets it, goes for the paint. That ball is deflected by Tyler Moore, the rebound and kicking it out. And the bounce pass back to Moore. He brings it across the timeline. Gets it over to Richardson. The shot is up and no good by Moore. By Horn, I should say. McGrew is going to be charged with the foul. So at the line will be Malik Horn. Sinks the first shot. Substitutions now. Prince and Wagner coming in with 359 remaining. Three fifty nine remaining. Horn shooting his second free throw. And that is good. Sixty to forty one now. Prince bringing it across the timeline. Looking, sets it up, gets it to Charlie Hill. Hill oh my goodness, did the travel. As now substitutions coming in. Number 32 would be Derek Christie. And it looks like number 50, Jordan Pratt, in for Tumball Memorial. So the inbound, Bulldogs applying pressure. Prince knocks that away and out of bounds. There'll still be possession for Tumball Memorial. Now Bulldogs trap him. Prince trying to get back over. That ball is overthrown, intended for Christie, and it's going to make it 61-41 still, 342 remaining. Bulldogs bring it across the timeline. Prince going from right to left, swings it over to Vines in the corner. Vines takes it, penetrates, shoots from the left elbow, right elbow, no good. The rebound picked up by Tumball Memorial. And here they come across the time. There's a reach, and it should be a travel call. Turnover against Tumball Memorial. Could not handle the pass was Derek Christie. French Quixie gets across the timeline. Gets it over to Hill. Hill shoots the three. No good. Wagner gets the rebound and the basket. Wagner being aggressive. Getting that one, 60-43, 17-point deficit. Coming across the timeline, Stevens gets it. Oh, Horn with the save. Go up and back to Stevens. 254 remaining. Stevens will slow it down. McGrew comes out on Stevens. Bulldogs now find a little pressure. Swings it over to Moore. And a quick foul is called.
The foul called against Philip Prince, his first foul on the night, is going to allow Derek Christie to come to the line. That will be the one and one shot. Was he shooting? But Derek Christie, first free throw. Takes his time and sinks the first one. 61-43, 240 remaining in the contest. Second shot on the way, and it rattles in to make it 62 43, Vines gets it across the timeline, goes in a trace, and could not get it to fall. But the foul was called. Foul against Derrick Christie. Christie getting his first foul of the night. Vines' shot is good. Second shot on the way by Vines. Vines had five points in the first half. Rattles in and out. Charlie Brown, I'm Charlie Zeal with the rebound. So the whistle was blown. Okay, so the foul, 50 blue, which will be Mr. Pratt. So that will allow Hill to go to the double bonus. Free throw attempt. First shot is good for heel. 2.30 remaining. Second shot is good. And heel is four for four from the line tonight. Getting it across the timeline now. Go to set shot is good from in the corner as Christie gets his field goal. Coming across his wagon. Oh, and he's fouled. Wagner able to avoid the hard fall on the ground as that foul was by Matthew Toler. He picks up number three. Wagner will go to shoot two. The first one hits the front of the rim. 2.14 remaining. 64-46. Tom Ball Memorial on top. Second shot is good. Inbound, Bulldogs applying pressure. Getting it back, backcourt, they get it across. And over in the corner, dribble, penetrate, almost blocked. Going up and getting the basket will be Christie. There, Christie with six points at 66-47. Swings it over here from the top of the key, in and out. Rebound is picked up by Tumball Memorial. And coming across, oh, McGrew. McGrew will be charged with the foul. McGrew picking up foul number two. They'll walk it back down. And Foyer will go to the line to shoot two for Tumball Memorial. First shot on the way is good. Mickey Foreigner has a total of six points on the night. Second shot rattles in and down. There was another foul call against Tumball Memorial, Jordan Pratt. So Hill will now go to shoot two. Hill is four for four from the line. They get five for five from the line. 
68-48 is the score. And Hill sinking them in on like there's no problem tonight at all. So the Bulldogs applying pressure again, backdoor trap, coming across, pushing it, and breaking the press, does Tumball Memorial. Still applying for you. Basket is good. 70 to 49. Coming through, McGrew. Double dribble is a call. Turnover number 14. Okay. 118 now remaining. Bulldogs still applying pressure. Getting it across. Oh, there's a turnover. Vines with the steal. Coming back. Goes, penetrates, lays it up off the glass, misses everything. And Tom Ball Memorial picks up the rebound. And there's going to be a foul called against Wagner. Wagner picking up foul number two. Going to the line will be Trent Rausner. He'll go to C2. He has six points on the night. 70 to 49 is the score. Rausner, the left handed free throw is good. Rousing with seven points on the night. Second shot is good. Rousing two for two from the line. He'll be replaced by Tory Richardson. 72-49. Tom Ball Memorial came in with a four and three district record. Bulldogs with a two and five district record. Deep in the corner is McGrew. He misses the shot. Hill with the rebound misses that and. Richardson skies over everybody to get the rebound for Tumball Memorial. So now trying to apply the pressure. Back door could not handle it, and it's going to be off the hands of Jordan Pratt. The unforced turnover makes it turnover number 15 for Tumball Memorial, 14 for Waller. France gets it across to Vines. Vines over in the corner to Hill. Hill. Sinks to three. 72 52. Oh my, that's going to be a flagrant. That might be a flagrant foul against Hill. So they're going to call a foul on the Hill. That's four. That's a wonder that wasn't a flagrant, flagrant foul right there. So going to shoot two will be Pratt. The first shot is good by Pratt. The senior gets in. They got him listed as a shooting guard, more like a pulling guard than a shooting guard. Second shot on the way is good. So the little football player makes two for two. Vines goes coast to coast, misses that shot. Richardson picks up the rebound. As Carey is the call by Tory Richardson. Pressure being applied by Wagner and Prince. 13 seconds remaining. As the inbound to Vine, Vine will take it, kick it outside. The heel shoots the long three. Prince with the rebound and the basket. Prince with the rebound and the basket, and he'll go to shoot one. Foul against Pratt. Pratt. Prince for the chance with the one and one. Free throw in and out. And that is going to do it. Our final score, 74-54. Baller falling short. Leading score tonight for the Tumball Memorial Wildcats. 
was Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore had a total of 19 points. He had a total of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 points by Malik Horn. He was a late bloomer, only had two at the half, and one going cold was Jaden Stevens with nine points. Four, Tom Ball. They will now go to five and four. For the Bulldogs tonight, the Bulldogs had six, seven, nine, ten, fifteen points by Corbin Vine on tonight. They had another six, that's five. I'm sorry, that's nine, ten points by Will Wagner on tonight. Five points by Xavier Louie. Six points by Andy McGrew. Three points by Jonathan Dorsett Morris. They had a total of two, four, six, eight, nine, uh, eleven points by Charlie Hill. He was six or six from the line. Two points by Zachary Kelsey. And two points by Philip Prince. So the Bulldogs end up losing 74-54. That is going to be a wrap for us on tonight. Bulldogs falling to Tumball Memorial. This is Mike Prince with the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Thank you all for joining us on tonight. Be blessed. We'll see you on the other side. Good night.